Have you ever wanted to make a video game, but found yourself getting frustrated? Well, now you can, easily, with Playdate Pulp. It's a drag and drop game making tool, so you can make full-fledged video games with ease. Oh, and did I mention it's free? Make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with everything Playdate and Playdate Pulp. And who knows, maybe I'll even play your game in one of my future videos. My name is Gavin, and this is Playdate Central. To start, go over to play.date, which is Playdate's official website, click on the developer tab, and you should be greeted with a box that looks like this. Click on try pulp now and you should be prompted to log in. Once you have successfully logged in, you should be brought to this page right here. The question you're asking is, oh, how do I start making my game? Well, you will go to the plus in the corner, name your game, and then click create, and it should appear in the name box. Then you have the author, which in this picture is me, and then you have your intro, which is basically a little bio about your game and a little short description, and then you have your title screen next to it. This is the default one, so it will just say pulp game, and this appears when somebody launches your game on the Playdate console. As for the different categories, going down the left side, we have game, font, room, song, sound, and script. These are what you're going to use to actually build your game. Right underneath that, you have your undo and redo buttons, which, fun fact, can actually be undone and redone up to 100 times in a row, which is good if you make a lot of mistakes like I do. Then you have the save and play button, so you can save and test your game before it actually gets on the Playdate console. Next is something unique that they added that I think is really cool. It's the font tab where you can see your keyboard there. And then on the right side, you can see each letter and you can click to add boxes and click to take boxes away, effectively making your very own font for your game, which is actually pretty cool in my opinion. We also have the room tab, which according to Playdate is where you're going to be spending most of your time because this is actually their level editor. So you can do a whole bunch of cool things here, like connect different rooms, you can place your collectibles, you can style it however you want by making custom tiles and setting them down. You can do a whole bunch of crazy things here. I'll go over everything in a future video. For now though, I just want to keep things simple and kind of introduce you to it so you have a better understanding of how Playdate Pulp works and what it is. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video, and let's move on to the next tab. These next tabs I'm going to group together because they're pretty similar. These are the song and sound tabs, and what they allow you to do, which is pretty unique, is to actually make your own music and your own sound effects for your game, which I think is awesome, and especially that they put it inside of their game editor. Like, they have thought of everything. I would recommend you guys go give it a try and lay down some beats. This last tab is called the script tab. This is for people who would like to code their game instead, see what's going on under the hood, and maybe even add some extra functionality to their game. One thing I really like about Playdate Pulp is that they make everybody feel included, so just keep in mind that this scripting is not necessary for somebody to make an amazing game but it is there as a feature for anybody who wants it. If you enjoyed this overview of Playdate Pulp, make sure to subscribe because I do not want you to miss out on anything Playdate, because I'll be covering it all. My name is Gavin. This is Playdate Central. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.